how do you systemize your customer service? Every transaction is different, right? So how do you create a system? Do you have checklists? How do you do it? Hi, I'm Sam Wilson, the Sam Wilson Home Selling Team at eXp Realty, and I'm the realtor helping realtors. Welcome to video number eight, I'm sorry, number seven in this value stack about serving your clients. And this is about customer service systems. I'm gonna use CRM systems and operations plans to demonstrate this. So at the minimum, have a checklist. If it's a paper checklist that you print out and put in a paper folder for every single transaction, great, that's how I started. And your checklist can be as simple as the contract dates and deadlines. When I first started in business, I had my clients, or actually I did it for them, I printed out the actual page of the contract with the dates and deadlines, and I would go to their house and I would put a magnet on the refrigerator for them. Um, as things evolved, I would email it to them, tell them to put it on the refrigerator. Uh, to this day, I still recommend that they keep that page handy to look at their dates and deadlines, but look, they're not going to do it right? There's a few people that will, but you've got to run this for them. You've got to be the leader. And the best way to do it is to have checklists. And the highest level to do this at is to have a CRM system that you can program your contract to closing tasks into. Now, you should also program your pre-contract tasks, like if it's buyers showing houses, if it's sellers, weekly updates, but you should have all these tasks programmed and they run systematically. Now, granted, you know, there's, there's different time periods for different contracts. Some close in 10 days, some close in 40 days, right? But if you have the tasks programmed into your CRM system and they come up for you, your transaction coordinator, your assistant, your outside sales agents, then it's always going to be the same and people will be um, reminded and proactively or intentionally, as I talked about in an earlier video, communicated with in order to make sure that things are on track. And it's not just communicating with your clients, it's having tasks in your CRM system to communicate with the lender, the title company, escrow, uh, inspectors, you know, the list goes on and on, right? So make sure that you have a system whether it's a paper checklist or a, a digital CRM system, make sure that you are managing the transaction systematically. I'm Sam Wilson, Sam Wilson Home Selling Team at eXp Realty, and I'm the realtor helping realtors in this value stack with client service. And I look forward to seeing you in video number eight. And this is a, this is a fun one, surveys and feedback. I'll see you over there.